hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you doing today hope you are doing great thank you for your massive love and support both on facebook and on youtube you guys are doing a wonderful job thank you for the shares likes comments i'm seeing you all thank you all god bless you so in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to cut this beautiful piece you're seeing here oh god don't want to go to air this beautiful piece is so beautiful to behold like on our bounce good so beautiful guys so i'm going to teach you how to cut this beautiful piece you're seeing here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share and comment on my videos i'm coming guys guys welcome back to make this beautiful piece you're going to first of all fold the material in four places one two three four as you can see here and after you're done folding in four places you're going to mark your shoulder point and your hemming point and as you can see i've already marked it here in the video already so from that point this point that i'm touching right now i'm going to place my tape there then I will straighten the tape to meet wherever I desire the length to reach. So I am using 37 in inches as the full length of the gown. Also remember that the shorter it is, the more beautiful it looks. So I am going to make mine to be very short so that it will look so beautiful and classy as I've always wanted it to be so i am using 37 inches as the full length of the gown so i came down by one inches from this side this side is the outer side of the fold as you can see this is the outer side so we are not we are going to cut out that place and this side if you, you can see how the other side looks so this is how to differentiate where you're going to be cutting out so i came down by one inch from the outer side and that is going to be my shoulder slope is going to serve as my shoulder slope and i will connect it to the neckline where i think my neckline will start from then from there i'm going to come down by 10 inches as the sleeve curve this is the curving of my sleeve i want my sleeve to be very free normally i use seven inches as my sleeve curve but here i used 10 inches because i want it to be free so it's, it's going to help me to be able to raise my hands very freely so next thing is to mark my hip point i placed my tape from the shoulder point and i marked the hip point at 24 inches that is where my hip point is and i divide my hip circumference by four whatever i got i mark and added extra two inches for ease and extra one inch for seam allowance so making everything to be 14 inches and I'm going to use the same measurement at the down area. The same thing I got here, which is 14. Everything is 14. I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to mark it down. Then I'll connect it. I'll connect everything like this. Then from here, I'm going to use my ruler to connect these two points guys can you see i want just want to make sure that there is no curve that is in a, in a straight line so so after you're done the next thing is to start cutting it out i'm going to cut out the excesses by cutting through the lines so after cutting out the excesses the next thing i'm going to do right now is to remove one piece from the two pieces i've got here you remember i folded by four so it's going to be by two one for the front piece and one for the back piece so I'm going trying to open the sleeve because one was folded 
and make sure they are on a straight line so i'm going to mark three and a half inches for the wideness of the neck three and a half inches for the width then for the depth i'm going to mark one and a half for the back neck depth then i'll connect it to the three and a half inches then i'll cut it out So this is for the back. I'm going to remove one piece from here. And let's use this piece as our back front piece. So the next thing we are going to do right now is to from the center front piece, that is the center front piece, you come in by one inch come in by one inch here come in by one inch here then connect the lines together and from here I'm going to connect this place I'm going to connect this place to this place like this it's going to go like this but i'm going to use my ruler for it make sure it is in a straight line so i'm going to connect it like this and this is how i'm going to so i'm going to cut it out now i'm done connecting it so i'm going to cut it out now after cutting what is going to be done. this is going to be there's going to be this beautiful design on the front piece and we won't be needing this anymore so we are done cutting and we are done cutting so this is the face of the back piece and i'm going to place the face of my front piece that is right side facing the right side the wrong side backing the wrong side so this is i think this is the right side of this it's the wrong side is going to face me why the right side is going to face the right side of the uh -huh. so what we are going to do now is that we are going to join the shoulders together hmm? I'm going to join the shoulders together Let's remove one inch, half inch here because this half inch is going to go for the joining. Let's remove half inch here too. Let's mark from the half inch. Why I did it is because by then I might have finished sewing it, joining the half inch together. So there won't be, I want to do everything here at once. So from the half inch, well, I almost have finished joining it. I will mark from here to here. This is 19 inches. This 19 inches is where my pocket is going to start from. I will mark 19 inches. I'm going to do the same here. The same thing here. From the half inch, 19 inches. So this is where my pocket is going to start from and for the 19 inches i'll come down by 10 inches this is where my pocket is going to start from then from this going to stop this is where my pocket is going to stop by here from here to here, I'm going to come in by two inches from here. 
and two inches from here then I'll connect it to this one eight inches eight inches So this is how I'm going to join the pocket. So I'm going to mark 10 by 10. Then when folding and everything is going to come inside this place, it's going to everything is going to just settle in here. So I'm going to do the same thing here. So this is for my own pocket. I am going to use this line to attach the pocket when I might have just finished joining this place. And this is what we are going to do right now. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut the pocket so i'm going to cut the pocket wow there's no this thing again. okay So guys, there is the material is not enough, wasn't enough for me. So I had to join the pockets. I had to join them. So after joining them, this is the pocket. The material wasn't enough, so I'm going to join this place and I'll join this place. So this is what we will be using for the placket. So this placket is going to go around the center front and I'm going to use it on the pocket and on the sleeves as well. So I'm going to cut by 54 inches in length and one and a half inches in wideness. That is by folded by two. So making it three inches by width. So I'm going to cut three of these and i will join them together so here i am done cutting it out and this is how it looks like i've not joined it yet i'm still going to join it together so guys as you can see i'm done joining the shoulders together and this is how it looks like i also extended the lines at the outer area so that i can fix the pockets on the right places at the right places so this is the pocket and this is what i had to add as a design to make it pop out very well so i added this particular design this particular color to it with this thing that i just cut out the placket i cut out now so i am going to fold it in like this And here as well on this line I'm going to fold it in on these lines and after I'm done joining them I'll put the placket here this is how I'm going to join the plackets I'm going to join it like this round like this to the down area it's going to look like this so after joining them like this i'm going to join the this other part like this it's going to look like this after i'm done joining them so after joining them like I'm going to add this is the pocket after joining the pockets I'll join the plackets then add this design on the sleeve part here and after join adding the design on the sleeve part then I will join the center so this is how it's going to look like
Place your tape at the center of the placket. Mark 14 to 13 inches downwards. Pin it by half inch and join the plackets together. Make sure to iron it very well. This is going to be your neck opening. For the hemming line, I'm going to go in by one inch and I will stitch it up. So this is how it looks like after um, joining everything together. This is how it looks like. So it's very simple to make. This is the this you can make this in let me say 30 minutes 40 minutes one hour depending on how fast you are so thank you for joining me on this beautiful tutorial and don't forget to give me a thumbs up like share and comment on my videos thank you so much i love you see you all in my next video bye